Hey everyone, right now I'm teaching a free three-part training on how to dominate your book writing process without wasting time with writer's block, self-doubt, or having to get an MFA. It's a three-part training series and I'm gonna share the first training in this video, but if you want the rest, you need to sign up. There's a link in the description where you can sign up and get the rest of this series. If you want to write a book and succeed in publishing, if you've tried to write a book before and failed, and you're maybe not sure you really have what it takes to finish. And if you're curious about whether deliberate practice can help you finally succeed, this series is for you. The link is in the description, so make sure to sign up and then keep watching because I'm sharing the first training now. Thanks. Hey everyone, in this series, I'm gonna show you how to crush the book writing process without wasting time with writer's block, self-doubt, or having to get an MFA. Because let's be honest, if you're watching this, you've probably tried to write a book before. You might have even read books about the writing process, taken courses, or even worked with expensive editors and still had trouble finishing and publishing a book. And if that's true for you, I just wanna say I've been there, it's very normal, writing a book is hard. I've personally failed just about every way possible and it's really not your fault. I also wanna say that if you've ever thought that the publishing industry, New York City agents and editors, or even big book retailers like Amazon don't really wanna help you in your career as a writer, you're right. There are more than a million books published every year. They are overwhelmed, they're focused on their mega best-selling clients, and they don't have time for new writers. The difference between them and our team at The Right Practice is that we actually care about new and up-and-coming writers like you, and we want you to become successful. If you have an idea for a book, if you have a dream to finish and publish that book, to show it off to your friends, and even become a professional writer, we want to help you. And that's what we're going to get into in this three-part training. My goal for this is to help people who have an idea for a book, but who aren't sure they can actually finish it. And I wanna show you how to actually do it, how to write a great book and not get stuck so badly that you want to quit along the way. But if that's not you, no problem, you can turn off this video now. But if that is you, let's go ahead and get started. And my bigger goal is that I want to get you to believe that deliberate practice is actually the key to writing and publishing success. And I'm gonna show you the process that I've developed over the last 10 plus years that will make it possible for you to achieve your goals. Over the last 10 years, I've written more than a dozen books, one of which became a Wall Street Journal bestseller. My writing has been read by millions of people. And even more meaningfully to me, I've helped thousands of people finish their books through the right practice. But just a year or two before that, I was completely stuck. I was sitting on the floor of my bad apartment, having a breakdown, close to quitting being a writer. I had wanted to be a writer for years before that, but I had failed again and again. And this time was a little different though. I had a coach who is a New York Times bestselling author. I was co-writing the book with another author. So I had someone to bounce ideas off of. And most of all, I was actually getting paid to write a book. And when I accepted that job, it sounded like a really amazing thing. But at that point, I was halfway through. I was completely blocked. I was crying on the floor, hating my life. And while I was there, in the middle of this breakdown, I had a realization. I realized this. If I don't write, then I don't get paid. And if I don't get paid, then I don't have food. And if I don't have food, well, you get the picture. And I thought, huh, this is pretty hard but maybe it would be better to just write rather than starve to death. And so after a few minutes, I got off the floor, I dusted myself off and I got back to writing. And by the way, it was still hard after that, don't get me wrong, but friends, I finished that book just a few weeks later. That book was published, it became a bestseller. Immediately after that experience, I started the right practice to help other writers and it's become one of the top websites in the world for writers. We've helped over 20 million people become better writers and finish their books. So in this series, I wanna share three myths that writers believe that keep them from using deliberate practice to finish their books and accomplish their goals. And the story I just shared brings up the first myth that I wanna talk about, which is one of the biggest, I hear this from so many writers. And here's how the myth goes. For real writers, writing is easy. 
Therefore, if writing is hard for you, if you procrastinate a lot, if you get stuck with writer's block, then you're not a real writer and you don't stand a chance. And maybe you believe in that myth that writing should be easy, that it should be free, that it should feel like writing rainbows through the meadow of creativity. And when you struggle, it means that you're not a real writer. But you just heard my story. I was struggling to write a book in just about the most embarrassing way possible. And you know what? It turned out okay. I kept with it because I had to. I finished that book. It was published. It became successful. And even more from that experience, I became a professional writer. My good friend Jeff Goins says, you know how you know if you're a real writer, you write. That's it. If it's easy for you to write, that's great. I'm jealous of you. But more than likely, it's going to be a challenge. The difference between real writers and other people is that real writers think the challenge is worth it. But maybe you're thinking, writing is so hard, I don't know if I can keep going. So let me give you a trick that's helped me finish over a dozen books. Here's the trick. You need to make it harder to not write than it is to write. You need a consequence. For me, if I didn't write, I wasn't going to eat. Writing was really hard, but you know what was harder? Not eating, and so I did it. And in the same way, a few years later, I was working on a memoir. This time it was a project I was working on for myself. I wasn't getting paid for it, but I was still struggling. I had been working on it for years and I wasn't making any progress. So I finally did something my friend Tim Grawl told me to do. This was in 2016 during the US presidential election. And I wrote a check for $1,000 to the candidate I most disliked. And I gave it to a friend and said, if I don't finish my book, you have to send this check. And you know what? It was the most focused I've ever been. I finished that book. It took me nine weeks. It was amazing. At The Right Practice, we believe in this power of consequences. In fact, in our 100-day book program, everyone who signs up gets $100 back when they finish their book by their deadline. And if they don't finish, if they miss three weekly deadlines, they lose the $100. And it works. We've helped thousands of people finish their books this way. It's an amazing process. So in the notes below, we have a link to a worksheet that will help prepare you to write your book. And on it is a question about creating a consequence. It says, if I don't finish my book by X date, this bad thing will happen. And you can fill in the blanks. I want you to fill out that worksheet and share your consequence as a comment in this video. Writing is hard. If you want to finish your book and succeed as a writer, you need to make it harder not to write than it is to write. All right, that's it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna tackle another false belief and how to overcome it and finish your book. Stay tuned for that. Happy writing and see you soon. All right, that's it for the first video in this series. Please make sure to sign up for the rest. I think if you want to write a book and succeed in publishing, if you've tried to write a book before and failed, and if you're wondering whether deliberate practice can help you, this series is for you. The link is in the description. Make sure to sign up. I'll see you there.